What is up everybody? Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming, bringing you guys a very interesting video about my state of Alaska. Now, Fort Wainwright, one of the biggest military bases in the United States, considering this is the biggest state in the United States. Um, and, you know, this should concern the people of, you know, the lower 48, because here in Alaska, if anyone's going to be invaded first, it's going to be us. Okay, we have Russia right next door. We have China right next door. And we had a few Chinese tourists, tourists who are actually spies. And this isn't the first time this has actually happened. And it makes me curious, when is our United States government, our Congress, our Senate, our president, which can't have faith in that guy, going to do something about China? We need to sanction China. We need to cut off all trade with China. We need to literally cut off all travel with China, meaning Chinese people cannot come here to do business, to do anything whatsoever at all, period. That needs to stop. All air travel from China needs to stop. So if we have anyone who's there, our citizens and whatnot, y'all need to come home. And then at the same time, we need to close the southern border. Because I've done several videos on how, you know, the Chinese government has secret police over in New York, San Francisco, and a few other places across the country. How China has been buying up land in the Midwest, farmland in the Midwest. And how Chinese shell corporations have been buying land in Michigan. Now, this is more and more proof to everything I've been saying. So anyone who's like, oh, he's just a crazy white guy and all that other kind of stuff. I don't think so. Because with how close we are to Russia and how Russia and China are like best buddies, right? They are literally best friends right now. Um, I think it's definitely time that our Congress and our government actually does something about this. Because the thing is... They are more focused on taking away things like this and things like this from people like me and you. And this is more and more proof to why they're trying so hard to take our guns away, which they can't. And they know they can't. Legally, they can do nothing about our gun rights because it is implemented in our Bill of Rights. It's the Second Amendment, and it is second for a reason to protect the first amendment which is the right to speak your feelings and say whatever you want free speech right well you can't protect free speech without the second amendment and you can't protect freedom without things like this right here see that can't do it so the funny thing is and th this proves to why the democrats and republicans anyone who's out there for red flag laws defunding police you know, all that stuff. Anyone who's a part of that group needs to instantly be removed from office. Period. Because they are now proving that they're in the pocket of the Chinese government because hmm, we have Chinese people showing up to Fort Wainwright and probably other forts across the country using drones and all this other kind of stuff. Now, the funny thing is in the article, right, it literally says... Oh, you know, they're foreigners and, you know, it was a mistake. Uh-uh. Let me ask you something. If an American went to China and blew past a security gate, do you think that, you know, they'd be allowed to go home? Fuck no. They would not. Matter of fact, actually, he would throw them in jail. And it's not even a jail. It's a fucking camp. It's a work camp. Where anyone who doesn't agree with the Chinese government goes to. So, why does America like to play softball with these people who are clearly, clearly playing a game? They are playing Mahjong and they're being very smart. They're being very, very smart about how they're implementing and what they're going about. Now, I'm going to get in depth in this, okay? So, in the article, literally, like I said, they blew past security. Eventually, eventually, they were stopped. And when they were actually searched the vehicle and everything else, they found drones and all this other kind of information. And a lot of it's still classified because, you know, hey, 
uh, they want to actually do something and make sure that, you know, it do is done correctly. But the problem with this is that you haven't seen anything in the news yet. At all. Which isn't surprising at all. And the funny thing is this article was from USA Today, like timestamp, like 15 hours ago. Nothing in the news media. Nothing at all. All you see on The View or Fox News or fucking CNN or MSNBC or any of the other bullshit, right? All you see is, oh, mass shooting over here, mass shooting over there, shooting, 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 shooting. Oh, Biden wants to take away guns. Oh, this, oh, that. See, they want to take this away so that China and Russia can come and invade and take over this country. I don't think so. That's also why, you know, they're having you fully focused on the ATF and all the illegal shit they're doing and saying, hey, look, you know, if you don't uh, register your pistol brace, AR, within this a lot of time frame, you're going to be, you know, held as breaking the law. But the thing is, owning this isn't against the law. Owning this isn't against the law. Second Amendment. And they, the government, cannot sit there and take something from you. Period. No court, no government, no senator, no mayor, no president, no nobody. Period. They cannot. Because as soon as they do, it's going to start a revolution. They know it. It's been talked about very lightly in the Senate. While also talking to the FDI. F FDI. ATF director and the FBI director, who is also now um, going to be more likely impeached and everything else, which is also funny because the article mentioned Mr. Ray, who honestly shouldn't be saying Jack Diddley shit at all, considering the fact that he couldn't give the Senate a simple piece of paper. Now, he didn't do it, and he is now held into contempt for one specific reason. He's protecting Biden. Now, I think it's definitely more than enough evidence to impeach Biden, impeach Kamala Harris, get rid of the ATF director, get rid of ATF, period, get rid of Christopher Ray, throw that motherfucker in prison, and we need to start cleaning the swamp. It needs to get done because <laughs> China's trying, man. Like I said, the first place. To invade is Alaska. Okay. Now, there's several other places that you can easily do it. And I'm pretty sure China has more than one spot that they're planning, which is exactly why they're buying land in the Midwest. That's exactly why they're buying property and everything else up in uh, Michigan. That's exactly why, exactly why they're allowing people to go from China to South America up across our United States border. It is time to stop with the bullshit. It is time to stop playing softball with the Democrats. It is time to start kicking ass. Because Chinese don't care. They don't care. And I think it's time for United States citizens not to care. It's time to literally make our voices heard. We need to... Call our reps and say, hey, what the fuck is going on, guys? Did you see this article? Did you see what was going on? Do you Are you aware of what's going on? Because uh, I am very aware of what's going on. And if you aren't, you shouldn't be sitting in that seat and you need to go. So that we can put someone there who actually is going to make sure that the people in this country are safe. So, if you have a senator, governor, or anyone else whose literally whole goal is to remove guns from you, is to defund the police, to bolden up and, you know, arm up the IRS, allow the ATF to, you know, sit there and go to law-abiding citizens' homes and take their guns or sit there and ask questions on, hey, why'd you buy this solvent trap? Why'd you buy this trigger? Uh, we have a list of this. No more. No more. And also, don't worry about the pistol braces. Okay, don't. 10 to 40 million are out there in circulation. If they're not going to throw legitimate grapists, anyone assaulting people, breaking the law, 
thieves or anything else, if they're not going to throw those people in prison and keep them in prison, why is it you're going to be afraid that they're going to come and show up to your house? Because as soon as that happens and as soon as it gets out there to our country, guess what happens? Revolution 2.0. It's going to happen. So do not worry because the government can't take your guns. They can't. You're a law-abiding citizen. You're doing nothing wrong. So do not let the ATF or any other group sitting there asking you for your money fear tactic you into giving up money that you should be using to buy ammo, gun parts, whatever it is. Also, supplies such as MREs or anything else that you might need to actually protect and keep your family sustained. Come on now, folks. Wake up. Wake up, America. Okay? We need to protect our borders. We need to protect our people, and we need to start removing all of these corrupt-ass freaking senators and governors and throw them in prison. All of them. And in any single one of them, any single senator, governor, mayor, president, or anyone in any position of power who is accepting money from China needs to be held as a traitor and done appropriately. What do we do with traitors? We don't throw them in prison. That's for sure. So like, share, subscribe, spread the word, and get it out there. Legit. Bug the shit out of your governor. Bug the shit out of your senators. Be like, hey guys, why is this going on? Why do we have China buying up all this stuff? And why is it that it's barely being talked about in the news media? All you see is guns, 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 guns. That's it. Nothing about what China's doing at all, even in our country. This is our country. Ours. It's not the presidents. It's not the vice presidents. It's none of the senators or governors. It's our country. And they're in the position that they are because of you and me. So if they're not going to listen to you and me, guess what we need to do? Take them from their seat, put them where they belong, which is in prison and or working at fucking McDonald's. Because that's how useful they currently are. Okay? So, spread the word. Like, share, subscribe. Stay free, America. Love you guys.